great. Oh my god, the biggest bowl of granola and yogurt ever to exist on planet Earth. How beautiful is this? Very cloudy day today, I do not care. Um, the Four Seasons is treating us so nicely. Yesterday they sent us all like, chocolates to our rooms and now they're sending me to go get a massage. I'm getting a massage, which I'm actually really grateful for because well, because it's a massage, but also because my shoulder is hurting and I have a show tomorrow, so I feel like a massage will really, really help. So I'm really excited. And then I'm gonna go to the cabana and meet everyone there and hang out by the pool. And then, after that, we get a private lesson with the chef here at the Four Seasons. So I get to have lessons on how to cook things, I guess. Hawaiian dishes with the new chef. So I'm really excited. It's gonna be a fun day. Let's go! Alrighty, got the massage. It was amazing. It felt so good and they treated me like a princess. It was awesome. Um, and now we're just laying out in the sun. The sun just came out. It's probably gonna be out for 10 seconds because it's supposed to be really cloudy all day. And it literally just came out. It's poking out behind clouds. So I'm trying to soak in the rays before it hides again because there's just clouds everywhere. It's gonna be cloudy all day. Um, yeah, it's beautiful here. We're gonna go explore. We're probably gonna go in the ocean. It's a party! Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's Aulani. That's the Disney Resort. We stayed there last time. It's very nice. And these are paddle boards, which I'm like desperate to go on the paddle boards. Desperate. Um, but I can't because it's not good for my shoulder because it really, it, you have to use every muscle in your body. So I would get like super sore and destroy my shoulder. So I cannot do it. But I might sit on the front while Rachel does it. But we're gonna go in the ocean. See? Is it freezing? <laughs> Is it cold? I think that's the loudest you've ever talked on my vlog, Eric. What? <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. Always mumbling. There's a fishy! Rachel and I are climbing the rocks. It's cold. It's really cold today, y'all. We're trying to just embrace it, though. We are in Hawaii. Normally when we come, it's sunny and we can get tans. We're just gonna stay pasty white this year. 2017 is the year of pasty white. Go paddle boarding, but it's much too cold for me, so I'm going into the hot tub with Angela. <laughs> We're gonna go to the hot tub because that's warm water, and this is cold water. I wouldn't mind cold water if it was hot out, but it's cold out. So for the record, we went in the ocean. We did go. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. Mm -hmm. It was nice, but. We're done with that. We did it. <laughs> no, back to the hot tub. Corey's about to hit the rocks. Oh, he's turning around. He's doing good. All right, I showered. I put on a thing that's like a romper thing that goes off the shoulders to look like a trendy Instagram girl because that's what I am. We're gonna go do a cooking class. I'm so excited uh, to learn to cook things. I also kind of look like I'm balding. I've never even heard of something like this, so this should be interesting. And we put fruits and all this fun stuff inside. Yum. It's delicious. This is so good. <laughs> Popcorn is cereal. I've never seen it. Banana unana. I'm going to go back to the cabana unana. That was really fun. We got to um, 
just eat some really spicy rice. The rice was really spicy, but it was delicious. And the cereal was crazy. Like he cooked the popcorn in bacon fat and there was like fruit and granola and nuts and seeds and all this crazy stuff in it. And when he said we were gonna make cereal out of popcorn, I was like, what are we about to get ourselves into? But it was so good, it was really cool. And it was just cool to watch him cook, it was awesome. I also think I just touched some bird poop and then scratched my face, so I now have a disease. All right, Christopher Robin is here. Christopher Robin. We're gonna watch the sunset right now. It's, um, we might actually be able to see it. There are still clouds but maybe this sunset will look a little bit better than last night's sunset. I'm hoping so. I feel like I look like I'm balding when my hair is like pulled back this tight. I got a big forehead, I got a wrinkly forehead. I'm, that's probably my biggest insecurity. Let's talk about our insecurities. Honestly, um, my biggest insecurity I think is my forehead. Like I really hate it. And people in LA are all like, ooh, you should get Botox. I got Botox, but I can't get Botox um, for a few reasons. One, I just, scares me a little bit, but also um, because I need my wrinkles and my wiggly, wiry face with Miranda. So um, yeah, but anyway, I hate my forehead. I always cover it up. That's why I always have my hair on my face. So whenever my hair is like this, I feel like a toe. So I'm feeling like a toe right now. I am so good at time lapses. Sunsets. Oh, focus on that. Look at this madness. That's crazy. So grateful that now we can see it. Because last night we couldn't see the sunset. Did you try to watch the sunset last night? Um, I think I fell asleep. <laughs> I think we took a nap. Because <laughs> we're 100. <laughs> we took a nap before dinner. <laughs> well, the flight was early. The flight was super early. Yeah. So um, we're trying to figure out dinner plans, but um, our dinner reservations are when we all want to go to bed. So we're trying to make a dinner reservation for earlier that we could eat and then go to bed at a reasonable hour because we have a show tomorrow, oh my god! The boys are still up there taking selfies. So cute. The boys are taking selfies and the girls are like, let's go get more champagne. <laughs> hey guys, so I just got back from dinner but something crazy happened at dinner. I'm so confused because I um, got a call from Netflix a while ago um, uh, literally the um, day before my birthday and they told me they weren't renewing the show um, I'll tell you more about that later but my you guys are awesome and are rallying and are like save haters back off and trying to get it trending and signing petitions and you're just being so sweet and amazing and just showing how supportive you are of the show which I appreciate so much and I love you guys um, but people are starting to talk to people at Netflix, like the Netflix support people being like, hey, why did the show get canceled? Because you guys want answers. And um, the people at Netflix are like responding, saying it didn't get canceled. And like trying to make it look like I'm lying. I'm like, try like I don't, I'm so confused because I will say this, like 100% honest, working with Netflix was great. Like I loved working with Netflix. I loved having my show on Netflix. Like this is not me throwing shade at Netflix at all. Like I genuinely loved working with them and I would work with them again in a heartbeat. Like I love Netflix. I really do. Um, but I'm so confused because like people are tweeting me pictures of their conversations with the, the tech support at Netflix and they're saying the show isn't canceled. We don't have confirmation of this and whatever. And that's, that was weird and so I tweeted like well no they called me and I was really upset and this definitely is not a rumor like this is true and um, another guy tweeted a, their conversation with Netflix where the the guy said like um, oh the show's really popular so we'll probably get a season three we're gonna try they're working hard to get a season three aired soon which I'm like what are you talking about so I'm like trying to make light of it I'm like making jokes about it like to the guy who posted that, I'm like, oh, Jose, like, you are a gentleman and a scholar. You know, like, trying to make jokes of it because it's, like, weird to me that Netflix is posting stuff like that. But the one that's really upsetting to me is someone posted this conversation with Netflix. And 
um, they asked why Netflix got canceled, my fan did, and then Netflix said, ah, I have plenty of theories, but just to be completely clear, those are my own personal views. The Netflix continued and said, if this turned out to be false, it wouldn't be the first time that a YouTuber fabricates a controversy, would it? Now, I'm not saying that this is the case, but if you ask me, that is the first thing I would think about it. I'm a bit of a skeptic. Someone who works for Netflix said that about me. Like Netflix is a company who believed in me, picked up my show, wanted to work with me, made my show, made a beautiful show. I loved working with them. Again, like I said, I would work with them again. Like I love Netflix, but I'm so confused how this person is working at Netflix and is saying this to one of my fans. I know it's just someone in customer service, so this is not the same department as the department that I worked with. And um, they probably just don't have the information about the show being canceled yet. But I am just shocked that someone who works for Netflix in the customer service department would say that. If this turned out to be false, it wouldn't be the first time that a YouTuber fabricates a controversy, would it? I am so shook. Like my jaw is like fell off the balcony of my hotel room and is currently in the pool. Like I cannot believe that. Like this is jar like I'm proof. Like there's a conversation. You can see what Netflix is saying there to one of my fans who was literally just asking like, hey, why did the show get canceled? And that was their response. I'm just, I'm like, I'm so uncomfortable, like on multiple levels, just like Netflix, I'm just so confused that this person works there. Like, anyway, I'm really confused. Um, I'm so confused. I'm so, I don't understand why the people at Netflix in the customer service department, the tech support, I don't know who these people are, but why they're saying that the show isn't canceled or that they don't know yet, like when they're literally the ones who told me, like they're the ones who made the decision and told me that the show's not happening, so I don't understand why they're acting like they don't know about it or that I made it up or that I, it came from my brain, like, I'm just really confused. So I guess, um, I think, I don't even, I'm literally speechless, which you guys know never happens to me, like I'm never speechless. I mean, I don't, I, I'm just, so I'm really shocked. I think now they're starting to tell people, the people in charge gave us the information from our resource system that Haters Back Off is no longer renewing a new season. Okay, so now they're saying it. But it was like a while where they were saying the opposite. They were saying no, they didn't know, and now all of a sudden, now they're saying it. I'm just so confused. But I will say this, I don't know the customer service team at Netflix. I never worked with the customer service. I never worked with tech support. I only worked with the creative people and the producers and they were all lovely and wonderful and amazing and I'd work with them all again and I love them all and I have nothing but wonderful things to say about the people I personally worked with on a day-to-day -day basis at Netflix. Like I love them, like planning on going out to dinner with them and hanging out with them and continuing my friendship with them after the sh I get back from Hawaii. Like I don't have an issue with Netflix I'm just sad the show's not continuing, but that is crazy. Like, like, like I said, I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus because like I do love Netflix with my whole heart and I'm so grateful for the opportunities they gave me and I'm so grateful that they made my show and I love them. But like, who is working in customer service and saying those horrible things? Like, that is crazy. I'm just, I'm really blown away. Um, but anyway, wow, um, but yeah. I just want, I felt like I needed to talk about that. I was like, this is insane. Like, and you guys are all really confused. Like I'm looking at all your tweets and everyone's like, I'm so confused, is the show happening or not? Netflix says it's, it is happening, but you're saying it's not happening. Did you not want it to, like, I, I'm just clearing it up. You're hearing it from my mouth, from my face. Netflix did not want to renew the show. I would love to keep doing it, but they are done. I'm very, very grateful for the two seasons that I have. It was a dream come true. I wish I could keep making it. I want to make it forever. It was my favorite thing I've ever done in my whole life. Very proud of it. I love Netflix. I loved working with them. I love the platform. That's why I wanted to work with them. That's why I still want to work with them. But whoever's working in customer service needs to get a new job because they're not very good at customer service and they're very rude about YouTubers. Um, so weird. Okay, anyway. I'm shocked. There's been an update. Um, it's a few hours later, just so you know, or a couple hours later. But um, Netflix Helps actually responded. Um, let me see where this is. Hi, so sorry about this. The agent screen grabbed were here were incorrect about renewal. Hitters Back Off is not returning, but it's completely unacceptable to disparage Colleen, who has been a great partner. We are looking into this. So, like I said earlier, I love working with Netflix. Netflix is great. It, I don't know who was working at customer service, but that was insane. Um, 
So yeah, I just wanna clarify, even though I feel like I already did clarify, I'm clarifying again. I love Netflix, I loved working with them, they were a great partner, and I would love to continue to work with them. I'd work with them again in a heartbeat. Um, I have nothing against Netflix at all, but that was crazy. So I'm glad that someone at Netflix, like an official Netflix Twitter, wrote that, because that was just insane, and it was getting spread so much throughout the internet. Um, yeah, so not so. Anyway, just wanted to give you an update. So Netflix is wonderful. It's just, I'm sad the show got canceled and I was sad that that guy said that horrible thing about YouTubers. Um, anyway, all right. So Eric just texted me and asked if we wanted to crash a wedding because there's a loud wedding going on outside. So we are gonna try to go crash a wedding. What? Go, do your do intro. <laughs> Do your intro. This is not how the internet works. Do your, do your intro. <laughs> do my intro? Yeah. Okay, so. What does that mean? My don't intro. even say me. So, like, so there's this crazy wedding. So, do that. So, there's this crazy wedding. <laughs> Rachel's here. Your intro got ruined. <laughs> do your intro. <laughs> Eric came over and said he has this great idea for video <laughs> where he's going to have the Miranda doll po poke in. Um, Rachel just got here for us to go. Eric said he's a good idea for a video, Rachel. What's the good idea? Okay, watch this. He said to do my intro. Start your intro. So, there's this crazy wedding going on outside. And we're- Oh my gosh, what's that? Wait, was that the idea? <laughs> yes. Start over, start over, start over. Rachel, you go from outside. <laughs> what, go from We need to go to the yeah, wedding! Go. You peek in on cue on her- What's uh, my line? Wrestler. He thinks this is how YouTube works. So he goes, say wedding. your intro. <laughs> so this is crazy wedding. So that's my only line. Yeah. Rachel, you wait, you wait for your, you'll see when this starts coming and then you start coming. Yeah. So do you want me coming from the bottom or the top? The bottom, from the bottom. What okay. is this? So guys, there's this crazy wedding going on outside. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> is that what you think my that's job good. is? That's good, that's good too. That's good too. That's good too. So what's the plan here? I've never stupid. crashed a wedding. <laughs> this is stupid. What's the, what's the plan here, Eric? You go for the bridesmaids. Oh, you, with the grandma. You go for the grandma. We have no plan. We're just gonna, he just heard music and he wanted to go dance. So we're just gonna go and see what happens. Okay, we found some, I don't think this is the wedding we heard, but there's some like party going on. I am stressed, because I hate confrontation, and I feel like we're gonna get in trouble, but there's something going on in here. I can't tell if this is a wedding. Eric, there's like no one in here. We can't go in here. Don't do it. I can't do it. I can't, stop. <laughs> There's not enough people. If it was, if it was crowded, I could do it. But there's like five people there. You can't do that. I'm so uncomfortable. 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 What is he doing? pretty this is, this little outside restaurant, it's so nice. This resort is so freaking pretty. Wait, is it this way? Yeah. Um, this resort is so, so, so pretty. We are trying to find this other wedding now, which I, again, will be too scared to go into because we just found out that that was some credit union. Hawaii State Federal Credit Union end of the year party. <laughs> So that was not a wedding, but everyone was in like prom dresses. There was one girl with a tiara. I mean, live it. your life. I wish I was wearing a tiara currently. I don't hear any music anymore from the outside wedding that I was hearing on my balcony. So maybe the wedding's over. Yeah, you can He's see so it. sad up here. You can see the lights. Are you sad? They turned on the floodlights. God, this is such we're, we're an adventure. Look at this. We're going in the dark through the lava rocks. Oh my god, I'm sliding. Oh my gosh, this is like an adventure for real. Let's not get these jeans dirty because I'm supposed to wear them to the show tomorrow. Okay, we're not getting Rachel's jeans dirty, y'all. Okay, guys. We made it to the wedding, but it's definitely over and it's definitely a gated private property. So, 
Eric, you cannot jump the fence. Eric, there's nobody there. What are you doing? James Campbell's company. What are you doing? I don't really yeah. know what his end game is here because the music isn't happening, so there's no dancing. Everyone's left. What's your plan here, brah? There's the bride. He's dressing up. He is insane if he thinks we're going over there. God, he somehow convinced Rachel Knight to cross through the fence. And uh, he's walking towards the wedding. I am not. I'm, I agreed to walk across the lawn. They're shutting down. Oh my God. We're gonna get in trouble. We look suspicious. Yeah. Okay, go on the dance floor, bro. Where's the bride? Oh, she's still there. She's so pretty. We did it, we crashed a wedding. There's a bridesmaid staring at me right now. We got caught. I'm not kidding, there's a bridesmaid like right next to us who's like glaring at me right now. Drama. Whoa, how did we just hop the fence when there's like plenty of other options to get back? Oh geez Louise. Now the sprinklers are on. This is major drama. Now, oh my God, what has gone into this boy today? He just goes, what's in here? And like starts walking this way. Looks like a private party. What the heck? I came out with him tonight. Scrimps. Some scrimps and lobsters. We're getting caught. We're getting caught. I gotta go. I really can't handle competition. There are people staring at me and he's walking closer over to them. What is he doing? There's people staring at us, asking us what we're doing. I'm so uncomfortable. He's talking to them. I'm so uncomfortable. I don't know what to do. Literally, best friends. They are best friends. We're getting a baguette. It seems like I'll take a baguette. Look at this. I'm taking a baguette. Thank you. There we go. Now we have our own baguettes. This is what we came for. We got a baguette, Rachel. I mean, I'm happy. Thank you. I'm obsessed with her. Oh my god, we're going. We're gonna lady and tramp the baguette. Oh, it wasn't as stale as I thought it'd be. Very stale. You want to try the baguette? Not as stale. Oh my god. So I guess Eric went up to that group of people and he said, "You, this is the third party we've crashed tonight. And then a guy came up to him and goes, haters back off, and recognized him from haters back off. And then they all recognized both of us from Netflix and from YouTube, which was cool, and then gave us a baguette. What a weird night. We did not successfully crash the wedding. We walked through it. We did walk through it. We walked around it. The night is young. The night is not young. I have 10.30. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. This is me being a party animal. I'm eating a baguette and like jumped a fence. Uh, we are enjoying some drinks outside, hanging out. We still have our loaf of bread. And that's that. So um, I think I'm gonna be going to bed pretty soon because I have a show tomorrow and I still have to write bits for Eric and Angela. I don't know what you guys are doing in the show yet. So professional. Good night.